it's Whitney. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some products I discovered at Natural Products Expo West, which is a really large trade show where over 3,000 exhibitors share their latest and greatest products. I go every year, in fact, this is my 10th year attending, and I love to just see what's new. I love to try products I've never tried before, and I wanna let you in on some of my favorites from that experience. Most of the products I have here have already been eaten, so you're gonna see a bunch of uh, empty bags. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna show you some products I didn't get to take home, and those will be pictures on my phone. It's so exciting that these are finally available to purchase. You may have heard me talk about them, I think it was last year, 2018. It's Outstanding Foods Pig Out Vegan Bacon Chips. They have, I think, three or four flavors now. This one is my favorite. It's the Kansas City barbecue flavor. And so it has this nice smoky flavor. And they're just these thin, almost like potato-like chips. It's kind of like a combination between a potato chip and a pork rind, fully vegan. So these are made to mimic the flavor of something you know that's made from pork, like a bacon type flavor. And uh, the, the crunchiness of it is so satisfying. It's got this intense salt balance to it, which is just great when you're craving a savory snack. And you can now buy these in Whole Foods and on, I think it's Thrive Market, which I'll link to down below for you to check out. The other product I'm really, really excited about and I tried a few years ago for the first time is Good Catch Tuna. This is a vegan tuna product, also now available in Whole Foods, and I will link to their website to see where else you can get it if you're not by a Whole Foods. I'm not sure if you can get it online yet, but you will be able to eventually, so keep an eye out for it. This has such a similar T texture to tuna. I was never a huge seafood fan before I went vegan, but I really, really like this, especially when you make a traditional tuna salad with the mayonnaise. They have this recipe on their website with capers and dill and I think green onions and celery. It's so satisfying. So do yourself a favor, buy a packet of this and then find that recipe. I'll, I'll link to it down below. I'll just give a quick shout out to this company which has rebranded. This is their old packaging. They're now called Second Line Snacks and I tried their truffle rosemary puffs. They're divine. If you love truffle as much as I do, you will probably really, really enjoy these. And if you like puff snacks like I do, you'll definitely enjoy these. Just there's something about that crunchiness, biting into a crunchy puffed snack just really hits the spot. I've also tried their cheddar flavor, which was really nice, but the truffle rosemary all the way for me. This was really interesting. This company called Undercover Quinoa. <laughs> I wish I had done a better job of tearing open the package on this side, but they make these chocolate covered crispy quinoa treats and so they're very similar to a puffed rice so any if you've had chocolate that has puffed rice and it, it's super crunchy and very very satisfying and i think this is nice the the kind of idea that you're having quinoa but you don't even realize it because it's covered in chocolate and then they have one with blueberries one with seeds and i think the third one was a sea salt i also think they had a couple non-vegan flavors so just be sure if you're interested in these that you double check to make sure you're getting the dark chocolate vegan options. Speaking of chocolate, you may know that I'm a really big coffee fan and there's actually a ton of coffee there. I think I have at least one brand on my phone to share with you. I thought this was super fascinating. This is a chocolate coffee bar and they call this the new way to coffee because it contains approximately one cup of coffee in one of these bars and they're super delicious. I think they had two vegan flavors. One is the hazelnut, which is one of my favorite flavors to have in coffee. And then what was the other one? I don't remember off the top of my head, but they were very satisfying, super small company. So I'll link to them. I'm not quite sure where they're available yet, but it's always nice to support small brands, especially those of, that are doing innovation with foods. And I just thought this was cool. There's no artificial sweeteners, flavors, preservatives, or colors. It says made with vegan, organic, and all natural ingredients right on the back. They do use some cane sugar, but I didn't find it super sweet. Plus it comes in, um, it's kind of like perforated so you can snap it and make it have a smaller serving, which is I did, which is what I did. So I would um, kind of 
have it slowly across a few days and that really hit the spot. Yeah, mainly for a treat, but I suppose the caffeine was, was an added benefit. Going back to savory snacks, I thought these were really interesting. These are plantain chips. Okay, actually I'm, I'm double checking right here. They're green Saba bananas which I guess is different from a plantain. And uh, if you've ever had a plantain chip before, that's what this texture is like and, and taste too. But they're not that sweet. They're just very savory and they had a couple different flavors. I think they might have one more, but I tried these two and they were lovely. And the ingredients are super simple too. So if you're looking for like a Parmesan flavor, this is really nice. And this one is probably my favorite, the buffalo flavor. So let's move into the photos. The talk of the expo this year, Wild Brines Vegan Brie. Yep, you heard me, Vegan Brie. Now I've had maybe a couple times a few brands that have attempted to do a vegan brie and every once in a while they'll get the texture kind of right but I don't think they've I've ever had anything close to the taste of brie. And brie was probably my favorite cheese before I went vegan. So this is super exciting. They had it in three different flavors. My favorite flavor was the shiitake brie. So satisfying. They nailed the rind. So if you're familiar with brie cheeses, they tend to have this thickness on the outside and then they're really soft in the inside. And they also nailed the kind of like sour tart element of brie. I'm not sure if I'm describing that correctly, but again, if you've had brie, you know what I'm talking about. And everybody at the expo was talking about it. Like I said, there are over 3,000 exhibitors, and this is the one time and time again people were just so excited about. Now, the downside is they don't think that they're going to be selling in stores for like six to nine months or something, so it probably will be towards the end of 2019, and I will do my best to remind you when they're available in stores. The other product that I thought was super innovative and exciting, especially for me because of my food sensitivities, is Pum Fu. This is tofu made from pumpkin seeds from this company called Foodies. And I really like Foodies. They make um, a burger that is super delicious and they're just super nice people. I always love meeting the people behind the brands. The Pum Fu blew my mind. It was not talked about too much at the expo. I think a lot of people missed it. The texture was so satisfying. I feel like I'm gonna start salivating just talking about it. And I've had one tofu alternative made from hemp seeds, which I appreciated, but it was always kind of watery and too soft. I've always liked extra firm tofu, and that's what Pum Fu is. It, it is like, the perfect firmness and the ta taste is pretty neutral just like soy based tofu is and it's made from organic pumpkin seeds in fact if i remember correctly i think there was like two ingredients i think it might have just been pumpkin seeds and water it was high in protein and they served it with this sweet kind of asian sauce and it was so fantastic, I can't stop thinking about it and I really wish that I had some <laughs> right now. Beyond Meat came out with their new Beyond Beef. I don't know when this will be in stores, but if you are a Beyond Burger fan like I am or a fan of the sausage, this is really nice. So now you can form your own beef type product. So you can make meatballs with this. You can make your own burger patties with this. They were demoing it in empanadas and that was so lovely. So I just think it's great that Beyond Meat's adding to their wonderful line. I tried so much coffee at the expo, most of which I had had before. It wasn't that exciting to me. And a lot of the coffees there were loaded with sugar or they're using sugary, like uh, high carb milk. So all the range this year is oat milk. There are so many oat milk options. I went through this phase where I was absolutely obsessed with Oatly. I still love Oatly, although now there's like 20 other companies that are doing oat milk. So it's gonna be really interesting to see over time where my preferences go. One thing that I've been looking more for is organic oat milk, which Oatly is not. And then oat milk that does not use like canola oil, which Oatly does in some of their products, or at least I, I think they're still doing that. So anyways, I was trying all these coffees and a lot of them had oat milk. And the one that stood out to me the most was this one. And I really like this because there was no added sugar. 
It had the perfect amount of oat milk, not too much, not too little, and the coffee was just so lovely. This is Bold Brew Coffee Chameleon. They now have a pre-made oat milk coffee latte that you can buy in stores, and Chameleon is one of the brands that I buy the most frequently when it comes to coffee. I love their concentrated coffee. It comes in like this big container and that'll last me anywhere from like five to 10 drinks and it's all organic. And then on the, on the milk path that we're on right now, I wanted to give a shout out to Three Trees, which I've always admired because they don't add a lot of additional ingredients to their milk. So as you may know from drinking plant-based milks, a lot of them have a long list of ingredients. It's not just like almonds and water or oats and water. It'll be like salt and gums and stabilizers and all these different things in there. And natural flavors are very common. Three Trees only has five ingredients in it. They keep it super simple. I loved their unsweetened pistachio milk and their black sesame milk. This was really unique. In this world where there are so many almond milk, soy milks, oat milks, coconut milks, it's nice when somebody is, is playing around with different types of milk. The other brand that I really love is Malk. So speaking of brands that don't use a lot of ingredients in their products, Malk has always kept it super simple. Plus they are glyphosate free. So that's something I encourage you to pay more attention to. Glyphosate residue free, I should say. And I'm gonna link to detoxproject.org. And they now have a new strawberry milk. I can't remember what the base was. Maybe it was strawberry cashew. They have a really good pecan milk, they have almond milks, and they have a sprouted organic oat milk. So if you're looking for a super pure oat milk, I would probably go for Malks. If you are into lower carb milks like I am, my favorite brand for a while has been Ripple. I really love their pea protein milks for my coffee drinks, and now they have a barista style. Now, I don't remember off the top of my head what the sugar content is in this product. A lot of barista style milks tend to have more sugar in them, so I'll keep you posted on that. But since I'm talking so much about oat milk, I wanna give a shout out to Raka, who is making a vegan chocolate bar with oat milk. I really love Raka's chocolate, very pure. It's 58% cacao, it's cane sugar free, it's non-GMO, it's organic, they're like all about fair trade, and they've always had great packaging and wonderful people working for them. And I thought this was really neat. I've tried one other oat milk chocolate and I wasn't that excited about it, but I much preferred Raka's because it had more of a creamy, smooth, consistency. This was one of my favorite products from the show. This is a line of beverages from this brand called Keto, K-I-I-T-O. They reminded me a lot of Rebel, R-E-B-B-L. I've been super into their drinks for a long time. They have such a phenomenal taste and texture but they're high in sugar and carbohydrates, so I haven't been drinking them much lately. And keto is like the answer to that. They have a vanilla, a matcha, and a chocolate, a chocolate maca to be specific, which is very rebel-like. I really enjoyed these. I've been wanting to try Julian Bakery's Pegan Thin Vegan Keto Bars for a while, and Man, did they hit the spot for me. I think it's probably because my taste buds have changed a lot since I've been doing the keto diet because I had read some online, some things online that said that those bars weren't great, but I could not get enough of them. If you're a fan of macaroni and cheese, this was really delicious. Modern Tables Vegan Mac. It was a high protein, gluten-free, certified vegan mac and cheese made from lentils, rice, and peas. And I'm starting to salivate just thinking about it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I guess it was really good. One more thing. I just want to give a shout out to Plant Made by Matthew Kenny. Matthew Kenny is a phenomenal vegan chef who just released his line of frozen foods. I don't know why I didn't take a picture of any of them, but they were absolutely lovely. He is a wellness entrepreneur as well and a very, very sweet man. I've known him for years. It's nice that you can now have more variety in the frozen foods aisle. Since most of these products are brand new or haven't even been released yet, Stay tuned by looking at the links in the description field. You can sign up for their newsletters, you can follow them on social media just to be notified, and you can just 
you know, ask me at any point, hey, have you seen this product in the store? And I'll let you know. Plus, any of these products that I'm super excited about, I'll probably post on my Instagram. Like, just a few nights ago, I went to Whole Foods and got these two. I posted all about it on my Instagram story. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about some new products that I tried at Expo West. Let me know if you have any questions or if there are any other products you're curious about because I may have seen something else that I just didn't take a picture of or something. So, you can always ask me if you need a product recommendation. I love talking about food. And speaking of which, I'm going to go get some food for myself right now. So I'm going to end the video here. Thanks again. I look forward to connecting with you on social media in between videos and wishing you all the very best with your eco-vegan journey in the meantime. See you soon.